Hello guys, uh, welcome back to my channel. My name is Vishal. In this video, let's have a look on the add to curve function in the edge actions of Zmodeler. Zmodeler is a brush which you can access from here in the brush palette or I can press B, Z and M and then you get the Zmodeler. Hover the cursor on the edge and hit spacebar or right click to select add to curve function. And then you got the target, there is only one target which is the edge. So I can select the edge and then start clicking those lines there. So when I select each and every edge, I'm getting the edge filled with a curve and this curve can be used later to, you know, guide the Z remissure or you can use it for your brush curves, curve brushes or I can hit space bar while I am on the curve. I mean, select that curve here or hover the cursor on the curve and then hit space bar. You got three actions. One is the bevel action and it's applying for the all curves. So when I just click and drag, you get the bevel along those edges. You have all the bevel related functions. I've made a full tutorial on the bevel. I'll add that into the description. However, I can just go and then select the number of rows, which is like two, uh, four and eight. And you could see that eight lines were added. And uh, while I'm adding that, you've got linear edge, which is creating a uniform spacing between these edges. I can choose the sharp edge where uh, the edges are pushed towards the corner. Then we have soft edge where the edges are pushed to the center, giving you different amount of uh, the roundness where the bevel is happening while you apply the subdivision to the model. You can also choose different uh, edge sharpness, which generally controls how these edges should be spaced between those divisions. Okay, so you have a delete while this will delete your all lines which you have created, the curves which you have created. Also, you have do nothing when you click, it does nothing. It is useful when you are switching to another polygon action and you don't want to affect these edges anymore. So this is what you got in the add to curve function. If you got any questions related to this, let me know in the comment section. I request you to like the video and subscribe my channel. Thank you very much.